Joshua 3 is a very pivotal moment for the children of Israel. Uh, their leadership has been officially transferred from Moses to Joshua, but most importantly, their faith relationship with their God is maturing. Before they reacted, they needed major miracles and signs to follow God, but now they are walking toward God's promises in faith with the knowledge and confidence that God is with them. I think the greatest takeaway from this chapter is that we get to observe how Joshua leads the people of God and is a great lesson in godly leadership. First in verse 3, he prepares them with clear instructions from God. They are to follow the Ark of the Covenant. Now this reminds us to seek God and be daily in the Word. Second in verse 5, he reminds the people to purify or consecrate themselves to God with confidence that God will use them. To me, this is a great reminder to start my day in prayer, but also to remember that in this physical world, not to neglect the spiritual healing we have through Christ. Third in verse 6, he initiates action. All the preparation in the world means nothing if we don't take that first step in obedience. Then in verse 7, God blesses Joshua, but look at what he does with that blessing. He blesses the nation, and he appoints other leaders to be a part of this work. But I think the biggest lesson we can learn from Joshua 3 is that his leadership plan required God to move. It 100% relied on God doing a miraculous work. See, in his own strength, he could have built boats, he could have built a bridge, or simply gone around the Jordan River. But instead, he made room for God to work. And in doing so, God fulfilled this promise to Joshua in verse 7. The Lord told Joshua, Today I will begin to make you a great leader in the eyes of all the Israelites. They will know that I am with you just as I was with Moses.